ዓለም ላይ የምታዩት ሚዲያ እንደሚቀጥፍ በሚናቀው ነገር አይተናዋል Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed appears to be feeling the heat for Tigrayan military gains in the embattled province. He decided to address the legislature Monday to present his case. The Ethiopian leader started off emphasizing peace. Diplomacy in saying he wanted to foster a period of silence in the area for everyone to think. Then he bragged about the military might he can bring to bear quickly if he desires. In one, two or three weeks, 100,000 trained, armed and organized special forces can be mobilized. If said special force isn't enough, if a militia is needed, in one or two months half a million militiamen can be organized. One million youths can be mobilized and trained. Abi asserted that Tigray Defense Force's military gains were achieved only because his forces were leaving. He did not respond to statements by the Tigrayan authorities that they would not negotiate a peaceful settlement until Eritrean troops and Amharic militias had withdrawn. Abi claims that the ceasefire was a month in the making. He said high-level consultation with investors, military leaders, national elites and the public were completed before a decision was reached. The Prime Minister asserted that the goals of the November offensive have been achieved. When we look at the results, the junta has been brought before the law. The weapons they had taken, they are now in our hands. The defense forces have been reorganized. Abi told the National Assembly that new goals have been established, including resettling displaced citizens, providing humanitarian assistance in Tigray and other affected states, fighting COVID-19, finishing development projects. The Grand Renaissance Dam, GERD, is the biggest such endeavor underway. Egypt has asked for a Egypt has asked for a United Nations Security Council meeting on Thursday to discuss the issue. Cairo says that Ethiopia has begun the second filling of the dam basin. France's representative to the UNSC says that all the body can do is bring the disputing parties together. Sudan and Egypt have been worried that their water supply, downstream from GERD, will be affected. ADN TV will continue to report on political and security developments in the Horn of Africa.